kind of special one that a lot of y'all are asking me to make a video on, make some content on. And today we're finally going to do it. So we got the LeBron 20 versus the LeBron Next Gens. So let's get right into it. So first let's start off with the traction. I'm going to use the All Stars because these are blue and these look blue. So they're kind of good for a comparison review. But I play it in most of all the time machines the most and i would say the first like violet frost that was the first colorway to release on finish line during the summer so i played in those two colorways the most i have not played in these yet but i'm going to use it for the comparison so let's start off with the traction the traction both of them are really really good guys this is lebron james this is nike basketball these guys know what they're doing over there so for their marquee athlete for his 20th season, you know the performance is gonna be on point. But in terms of these two, you got basically a line pattern right here. I actually don't know what the inspiration behind the pattern of the 20s is, but the next gens are a map of Akron, Ohio. And I would have to give the edge to the LeBron 20 for the traction, because if you all have watched my next gen performance review, link in the description, there's this bunch of lines right here at the ball of your foot that look like very close together. And they actually, when you play in them and perform, they get the most dust. So I guess like these just feel more consistent to me. But with that said, both of these are at least a nine out of 10, at least a nine out of 10, right? Like what I'm saying is like, this might be a 9.3, this might be a 9.75, right? Like out of 10. So both of these are amazing, but I gotta give it to the LeBron 20. Moving on to the cushion first, both of them got the same pretty much cushion setup, but this one has cushion on the 20s. So the cushion is really up to your preference. And let's break that down into LeBron 20 has a bit more higher off the ground feeling, but there's a little bit more plushness, right? Because it has that midsole of cushion, but the next gens, they feel a bit lower to the ground, but a lot of people may like that. So it really depends on your preference. For me personally, I like the 20s more because I want more cushion, honestly. And just because these have more cushion doesn't mean it sacrifices in court feel at all. So I got to give the cushion to the 20s. Both of these shoes fit true to size. So get your true to size in these. However, the 20s, the 20s are a bit odd, guys. They are a weird shoe. And I said this in my last video, but an example I can give about how it's weird is I got the Trinities in my true size 10 and a half. But when I tried them on in this room, like literally right over there where those boxes are, I tried my on my shoes. They fit like a size nine and a half, man. They fit like a size nine and a half. So I was like, oh my God. So I went back to my Nike outlet and returned them and then got a size 11. And I was like, okay, these fit fine, like whatever. All my other colorways are size 10 and a half and they fit much better, like what I'm used to, like a Kobe type fit. Like I read a comment that someone said that if it's made in Indonesia, then the mold is different than the ones made in China. I actually don't know, bro, but that's just my personal humble experiences. Overall, what you need to know is that these are worth a try on in store. But if you cannot go to a mall or a store, then go true to size. These though, these fit true to size for sure. I have to give it to the next gens, guys. I got to give it to the next gens. These feel like a sock low key. And the reason why it also feels like a sock is because the lockdown in the next gens is better than the LeBron 20s. I don't have to tie my laces in these, obviously, like these have a great one-to-one -one fit. I don't have to tie my laces to walk in these. These, the lockdown is just better. Like the laces are very long. You got a traditional lacing system. It just wraps your foot really well. And these sit a little bit higher at the ankle. So it low key feels like a mid top shoe to me. It feels like I'm playing in a high top, mid top shoe, but I'm moving and I feel as lightweight as a guard, right? Like these aren't gonna be like the GT jumps or the whatever high tops on the market. The next gens are going to feel like these, but these have better lockdown. So in terms of the fit holistically overall, I have to give it to the next gens. However, 
I have a lot of LeBron 20s for a reason, guys. Like, I, I get these pairs. I love them. And the fit is still great on the shoe. I don't want you guys to think that, like, oh, DG's choosing the next gens. Like, these probably suck in terms of fit. Like, no. Like, both of these are very, very good. But the fit and the and the lockdown is just much better in these, in my personal opinion. The support, I'm going to have to tie that up, guys. So, you got a pretty wide base in both of these shoes. And... Even the next gens just look bulky, they look supportive. And these, like I said in the cushion, these sit lower to the ground. So I don't even think you're, you're gonna turn your ankle in these. Like these feel like a guard shoe. These are just low to the ground in general. Like that was the entire design and point of the shoe is that it's made for the next generation, the LeBron 20 and people like a Kobe type esque shoe, right? So like these are gonna be low to the ground and you got a really wide base in these, you got a little bit of an outrigger as well. So both of these, in terms of support, I really like them. I don't have a weighing thing, but based on how I play, based on the clips earlier in this video, y'all see my play style. That's one of the highlights of this channel, in my opinion, is that I give you guys a raw inside look about how I play and how that can relate to my opinions on a shoe. Again, this is all personal though. Like You can agree to disagree, you can disagree, whatever. I'm gonna have to tie it up actually, because that is really high praise for the next gens. Because these have really good lockdown, so whenever I run, I just feel like it's seamlessly with my foot. It's an extension of my foot. These are also feeling like an extension of my foot, obviously. The lightest LeBron ever. But these are also extremely light. I don't have a weighing thing. I'm not gonna weigh it, but in terms of how I play and my play style, one of the highlights of this channel is that I show you guys actually raw inside footage in terms of how I play with normal people on a weekly basis. Like I'm not afraid to show you guys how I play. So like in terms of my play style, my personal humble opinion, the weight is pretty much the same in both shoes guys. Like and in terms of how I play, like I don't really notice a difference. I would say that these low key feel lighter, just low key though, like just low key though. But overall, these are the same. In terms of the looks, it's an easy win, easy dub for the LeBron 20. These just look amazing, especially with that fly knit and the low top design as well. These, these look much lower. These feel slimmer. These look slimmer. These just look a little bit more bulky, the next gens, especially from that top down view. These just look like a LeBron, like the old LeBron's low key, but these feel like a guard shoe. But overall, in terms of looks, I have to give it to the 20s. I'm going to give the slight edge to the LeBron 20 because these look better. These perform just as good as the next gens and the cushion is better. The traction I feel like is a little bit more consistent. The next gens are still elite, elite guys. I can't begin to describe how good they are for the price that they are, for the signature model that you're getting for the looks and the colorways. These are very, very good shoes, the next gens. Obviously the LeBron 20 gotta be the GOAT performer right now if we're gonna be real because the looks are great, the traction is amazing, the cushion is there, the lockdown is good, fits true to size, you've got amazing materials. And signature athlete LeBron James, arguably best player in the world. So you can't go wrong with his signature shoe, but his takedown model is no joke. So make sure if you are debating between the 20s and the next gens, I gotta give it to the 20s, but the next gens are not a too far off option. If you are concerned about pricing alone, then yes, get the next gens. If you got money to spend, if you're balling like that, then get the 20s. If you're thinking like, yo, I'm a LeBron collector, but are the next gens even worth it? Yes, they're worth it, bro. Especially in amazing colorways like these. When was the last time we got a mismatched shoe? I can think of the PG6 what does, but they had the toe cap that was silver. I didn't like that. My favorite mismatched shoe in recent years was the Kybrid S2 what does, the pineapple ones. I also think of the LeBron 7 Retro Lakers, but these, these are a true mismatch in my opinion because they're like two colors, monochromatic completely. So this is a really, really nice shoe. 
So I would say that the next gens are worth it, but I still do think the LeBron 20s are a bit better. And if I had to choose one to play in a competitive game, I would choose the LeBron 20s. But if I brought two shoes to the gym and someone said I can't play in the LeBron 20s, then I'm saying, whatever. I'm going to play in the next gens and I feel like I can play just as good. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of your own comparisons. Do you all agree with me? Do you don't? If so, what do you think is different? And let me know, choose one. Would you choose the LeBron 20s or the next gens? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already for more hoop shoe review content. Follow me on all my socials at DJ Hoops and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.